So once we've made the project, we need to just open it up, and we've got our basic layout. Now, what we need to do is actually go and start creating something. So what we're going to do is create a new model. To do this, we click on the little file button at the top, we want a new design, and we have a new template. If you haven't got anything open, it normally opens the default one. Now, it sticks with the same default view. I've got lights that are just leaving the original view. I'm just going to close off the little edge, just so now I've got a bit more space. Now, obviously there are some quite good tutorials in here as well. I'm just going to run through some of the key features. Model is the main section for creating a model. Render word, I suppose, you know, put the final sort of exported versions and high quality images. Obviously, you can do animations and simulations, but for this, we're just going to look at probably the model and then finishing up in a little bit of a render. Now, you've got your top view, front, and right view. Obviously, you can flip these around to any of the other sides as well. What I'm going to do is just start by drawing a little two point rectangle. When you, by default, gives you sort of the origin point. I'm just going to draw. So you click once to set the start origin. And you can draw your size. Now, the interface is quite right click heavy to sort of find extra things. A lot of things do hide themselves away. Sketch palettes, getting started. If you use multiple screens, sometimes some of these little pop ups will appear on other windows or other like, monitors. So just bear in mind something might be open but not actually in the main window area. So if I want to go and edit one of these, I'm going to, once I've drawn my shape, I'm going to stop the sketch. And I can right click, I can choose move. And then I can actually adjust each side for how far I want it to go. So we can sort of go and manipulate our shape a fair bit. So the dot lets you move like individual pieces. The arrow sticks on axis. You can always go and actually physically resize any of these. So if I wanted to say move that. 10 down, I can put minus 10 and it will stretch it that way. Do the same for any of the other edges.